Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Minecraft. Well, welcome back to Minecraft where the copper never changes color. I don't know how long it takes for this copper to change color, but I think it needs to be loaded, obviously. So that's why I moved it over here because I was working underground over there. And yeah, it still didn't change for that whole episode. And I've flown over here. What I think I need to do is AFK here. But what I'm going to do, guys, is go and collect a bunch of copper because next episode I want to build using it. Not this episode, but next episode. So we need to prepare it. I want it to be go green, basically. I want to have the green copper. And we have not built with this copper yet. So yeah. Um, my question is, once this does turn green, can you change it into, say, a green stair? Or will it change into normal copper stairs? That is my question. I don't know, because I haven't had a single piece go green yet. So, yeah, come on, copper, you need to oxidize and turn green. I think it's called oxidizing. Correct? Not correct. I have no idea. But what I'm going to do is empty my inventory, take a couple of shulker boxes out to the new chunks, and grab up a, a bunch of copper. That is the plan, my friends. So I'm going to head out there, do that first of all, and then we'll get on with the rest of the episode. I haven't decided what I'm going to do in the episode. I just thought, you know, you guys you guys better need, need to know my struggles out here, my copper struggles. It's, it's, it's not going well. Okay, yeah, so uh, I want to build like a industrial building maybe here or over there because this is like all industrial stuff and I have a pretty cool idea for next episode I just don't have one for this episode uh, I could do it this episode but then I'd have to wait for the copper to change to green and I can't really do that because I don't have that kind of time so let's go and gather a bunch of copper and uh, yeah let's get on with it my friends instead of just talking utter nonsense um I, I think I, I may be intruding Sorry guys, sorry. I'll just head back over here to my my uh, geode over here. Found a new geode. I don't know what these guys are doing, but there's a lot of them. Well, this is what a big geode looks like when you clear it all out and just leave all the crystal blocks. I think I took down about five accidentally of these, but yeah. Pretty interesting. We got a lot of blocks from that just now. I mean, look at this. We got this one and this one. This one's absolutely full, and this one's got quite a bit in it as well. Don't actually have that much copper, which is what we actually came out for, so I need to concentrate on that now. If I find another one of these, I'm going to have to ignore it, and I'm going to have to ignore these zombies as well. Shush, you fools. Get up. Okay, guys, so we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, almost six stacks of copper, which is actually quite a bit less than I thought, but I think... We'll get quite a few blocks out of this. My pick is almost dead here. Uh, we need to uh, heal that up, so I'm going to put that in my offhand while I mine with this one. This one pretty much always mends itself because I'm always mining uh, blocks that give XP, so that's pretty cool. We've got one random deep slate copper ore, but anyway, let's find out how many copper we get out of this. This could be interesting. Well, this is a big stack, my friends. This is a 5x5. Five five. That's what almost six stacks looks like. It's not that much, is it? That's why we need so many blocks to build with. That is full, though. It's not just like a box. Absolutely full. Well, it's gone, my friends, and uh, I found out it doesn't actually give you any XP. You get it when you smelt it, obviously. So we got a whole shulker box here. That is not good. Okay, I need to make sure I fix this pick before I break it, so I'm going to do that quickly. But let's, uh, let's head up here. I should have a better way to get around here. I have this over here, but it's not very useful, actually, honestly. In all honesty, my friends, let's open up the door here. And let's let's smelt this stuff. Let's chuck it in here. The super duper smelter, and it will start smelting. Yes, here comes the lava to smelt it all. Fantastic. Okay, we need to get this out and uh, stick as much of this in this chest as we can, because as you can see, it gets taken out very quickly by the hopper minecarts. And yeah, most of you probably haven't seen this if you missed this episode or I hardly ever show any of this kind of stuff on camera, but here we go. Yes, this is this is the super smelter. It's got lots of lava. It, it burns things. It's great. But but really, if you, if you haven't seen this, guys, I might as well show you. It's got a silly amount of, hop, uh, of uh, furnaces down here going. It goes all the way down there, if you can see. It is quite hard to see. If we go all the way down here... You can see that all where all these hoppers are, those are all furnaces, and there's two on either side. There's one underneath these ones, and there's one on this side. It's a silly amount. I think it's 64, and they're all filled up with uh, seaweed, uh, the kelp block. Sorry, not seaweed. What am I talking about? But as you can see, it makes a lot very quickly. 
Like I've only just put that stuff in the... It, it, it is a bit laggy. I've only just put it in the system. And these chests will have like a couple of stacks in them already. So if we go back in the door here... There's a chest on this side. Couple of stacks already. And a couple of stacks already. This stuff is very shiny. Now, I've actually forgotten how many stacks it takes to make one. Oh, it is a full block. Oh, that is really lame. Very lame. Okay, well, I suppose we got to make that and then we can make stairs out of it. What do we have? To I think we have to do it in the chopping thingy-majiggy. Okay, so we're not actually going to have that many blocks, but uh, hopefully it's enough to build what I want to build next episode because otherwise this is going to be a problem. Alrighty guys, hopefully sometime during this episode we can answer the question on whether this stuff here turns, when it turns green, if, it, if we cut it or whatever, it stays green. My my guess is no, so this is going to be a waste of time, but I'm, I'm sure we're going to want some blocks like this anyway, so yeah, we're going to have to lay everything that we want out before we use it, which is just crazy, especially considering I haven't actually gathered that much. This is all I got. And that's about three hours work. I mean, maybe the geo took took quite a while and took <laughs> a long time. But I think like strip mining it like level 48 ish is seems to be like the best. That's where it spawns the most. I think 47, 48. So yeah, strip mining like that seems to be the best rather than caving because the caves seem to go lower. Anyways, guys, uh, we need to basically start adding in some more vehicles, 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 however you guys want to say it, uh, into the world. So I want to work on a train today. So I would like to put it here behind this... Uh, Maybe not, actually. I was going to put it behind here, but I mean, we don't really come over here, and the prison is um, a gate and a building. It's not really a prison just yet, so maybe not. I want to put it on um, on straight track. I don't want to build one inside the station just yet. I want to make sure I know how to build a nice looking train before I do any of that. And all of these tracks over here are all very curved. I mean, I could put one up on here. That might not be too bad. Coming into this station, or even at this station. That could be pretty cool. That could be a possibility, my friends. Maybe we build it over here, coming into the station. Yeah, I think, yeah, let's actually do that. Unfortunately, that means we're not going to be over there um, loading that uh, copper down there. But let's place, or maybe I'll place a few of these blocks around here uh, while we do this episode. But anyways, um, let's actually place this down. It's got a bunch of blocks in it that we can use. Um, I want to get started with black wool. We also have black concrete. So... Um, train, 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 train. Let's put the actual train here, heading into the station. Does that make sense? Okay, let's get the wool. I think this is going to be the wheels. So, unfortunately, we can't really make anything too exciting, uh, wheel-wise, because, you know, it's, uh, it's a game of blocks. You can't really make round things. So, if we get these dark oak things, usually you need to place those on the side. You guys remember back in the day when we had to place these on a block to be able to place them so i would have had to place a block here to place this here which is just it's just crazy so i think actually on the edges i have like a picture next to me because i'm not very good at vehicles um of a train that someone else made i'm gonna use that for reference and uh, i think if we place in some fences here on the ends that'll connect all those wheels up so this looks a little bit funny but uh the steam train has those big arms that like pump the wheels they go around in a circle and it pumps the wheels that's what these are supposed to be the big arms that do that and i mean it's the best we have really my friends so we would then do that on the other side i'm thinking this is a good size one two like four wheels seems seems pretty good right let's give that a go I've just placed them in the wrong place again because I don't need them on the ends, do I? I just need to place you here and then place you right here. Aha, okay, very good. Uh, does it look like a train yet, my friends? What about now? Honestly, kind of looks like a face poking its tongue out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, guys, don't like it. Gotta change a few of the colors, I think. Okay, now it does. I just want to show you one little thing I just discovered, guys. The glowing item frames are really cool if you put glass in them because you can still see the glow through the glass and it looks like it's got like a, a light in it. That's really cool. That's something we didn't have before, so that is fantastic using some of the new blocks. It's just turning to night, but I think I'm going to switch to red terracotta because the red concrete is so bright. Look at this. That's not a train color. I mean, yeah, maybe when you first paint it, but not after it's been out on the track just once. So I think we're going to switch to that. We've uh, switched to the deep slate here as well. Looking pretty cool. And uh, yeah, trying to get these, uh, trying to get this to look like a train. So 
yeah, wish wish me luck. I uh, I'm basically copying the picture uh, on my other screen right now because um, I'm gonna try and add in my own stuff to it. Like I've added in a few blocks here and there, and different colors and stuff, and uh, try add in my own stuff. But it is uh, it's very difficult for me. I'm not very good at trains, so yeah. Um, I think the carriages will be much easier, but uh, yeah, we're gonna need a train, and then we're gonna need a coal train uh, carriage, and then like carriages for people going along the bridge here. So that's the plan. But uh, let me get uh, cracking on with this. It's starting to come together slowly. This train, train is is difficult, my friends. Very difficult. Okay, coming together now. We don't have any red stairs in the game. Not that I can think of. Acacia. And red sandstone are very similar colors, so basically the same. Oh, bricks? No, bricks won't look good there, will they? They're the, they're more red though, aren't they? But I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, maybe I'll try it. Hmm, maybe, 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 maybe. Um, but yeah, the train is coming together now. We have the little bit on the front here looking good. It's going back. We're gonna put some windows in here. Maybe some add some details on the side here. But yeah, it is coming together. I feel like maybe it needs another wheel or something. It's just hmm. It, the trains do have like this big gap, but I'm thinking maybe we put another wheel in here to be honest Let me see just grab some black wool here and put another wheel here. Oh I don't know that looks kind of funky as well to be honest Uh, No, but it looks better from the front than it did before Okay, yeah, maybe uh, we need to start adding in like grindstones and stuff on the front here You can do that. I know uh, that makes it look like the thing that goes on the front of a train so you do that and then you put two grindstones how you make a grindstone though my friends I will never know so let's uh, type that in you make it with planks sticks and a stone slab okay interesting let's make ourselves uh, well we actually don't need that many uh, there we go there we go we need two of those fantastic and then I think we just place these straight on the front like so Yep, yep, loving it, loving it, okay, okay, very good, okay, it's coming together guys, I think we can start work on the carriage now, after I add in the details here, um, there'll be a little gap and then something joining them up, obviously I haven't finished, quite finished here, but uh, yeah, we are getting there, now bring that over to there, and then we have something joining these carriages up, uh, the next one will be a coal, it will hold all of the coal, so I'll have to get some coal ore and coal blocks and chuck them in the back, that should look cool, alright, fantastic, it's coming along guys, um, yeah, I will have to leave a link to the creator of this train because I am using, uh, yeah, most of his design because I am absolutely horrible at this. And uh, yeah, okay, so, so I'll leave that in the description. If I forget, please remind me as per usual. All right, looking good-ish. All right, what is this looking like, my friends? The colors are a little bit strange. Yeah, I don't, hmm, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure. I wanted to make a red train, but now I'm thinking maybe I should add a different color in there. The one I'm building off is like green and red. It kind of looks Christmassy, which I don't want to do. I did build a train all the way over there. Maybe I should have gone and looked at that one. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, this is this train is uh, it, it's coming along nicely. We now have this one over here. So what I'm gonna do is drop on in here, take out these torches. Uh, we can probably fill the bottom of this up with nonsense blocks, which I don't seem to have any nonsense blocks on me right this minute. Okay, let's get our inner chest then and just grab some cobble. Actually, let's just grab stone. Grab some stone. There we go. That'll do just fine. Always handy to have that sort of stuff in your ender chest, my friends. So, right, this is going to get built up so we can fill all this in because it's all going to be covered up like so. want to do this and my phone is ringing. Okay, as I was saying before, my phone rudely interrupted us. Uh, we've got coal blocks here and we've got blocks of coal. So if we place up some coal like this uh, in here and here, just randomly spread it around. Uh, no, not that one. That one is not okay. And then I think if we get some coal ore blocks, it'll look pretty cool as well. To smatter a bunch of these things in there. Although deep slate coal would look better, wouldn't it? Should I go and get some deep slate coal ore? Oh, that feels like a good idea. But that seems like a difficult idea also. Ah, uh, let's just do it. I know it's over there somewhere. I'm just going to fly in that direction and dig a hole and get some deep slate coal. That'll look much better, I think. Okay, but anyway, you get the idea. I think that'll look much cooler when I get the deep slate coal. And yeah, this will be looking like a nice uh, place. Actually, I think we should fill in all of this, but I'm going to get the other blocks first. I don't want to have any of the bottom of the cart showing. But yeah, that's that's cool. So this is the coal cart. 
That'll go into here. And I need to get some cobwebs and stuff. So uh, let's actually get some cobwebs while I'm over there as well, because I found heaps of mine shafts while I was mining before. Man, I just keep filling up shulker boxes with nonsense. Like, like oh my goodness, I've filled up another one. Do I have any space in here? This one looks like it's got some space. Fill up some more shulker boxes with some more nonsense, my friends. Well, guys, it is looking a little bit better. Honestly, it's not as good as I thought it was. I thought it'd be darker, actually, the deep slate stuff, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, we see it underground, so it's much darker underground, I suppose, because that's normally when I dig it up. So, yeah, maybe. I just want to apologize if my voice sounds a little funny, guys. Hay fever is uh, absolutely wrecking me today. Don't know why I've sneezed about 400 times since I woke up. A little bit of an exaggeration, but not much, to be honest. Right, um, anyways, guys, yeah, this is looking cooler in here. We got all the coal, we got the coal blocks, looking fantabulous. I also just recorded this clip, and I've now had to record it again because I didn't press the, the whole record button. So, uh, I had a cool idea to show you guys, which I've done it on camera. So basically, um, well, I did it on camera. Basically, what I did was go up like so, and I built the shape of a... Well, the shape of an arc, basically, for where I wanted my smoke to go out of the uh, out of the the steam. Sorry, out of the uh, the train here. So yeah, we built the arc out of stone, and then you just start placing blocks on it and off to the side and things. You don't want it to go just in a straight line; it'll look a little silly. Now the arch that I've got is looking really good. I just need to bulk it out a bit with a few more cobwebs. So as you can see. The arch is pretty good. I'm happy with that. I just need to bulk it out with a few more because it's a little bit funny here uh, just having the single one going up. But uh, yeah, and as you can see, they sort of go all over the place. They're not just in one straight line going up and it's looking pretty cool. So now what I need to do, guys, is uh, carry on with the details, adding in like uh, stuff like these uh, these levers, levers, levers. I always never know which way to say that. Um, and then placing those on the fences above that. It just gives it like a little detail. And so what we're going to do, guys, is get the... Uh, you have to place these kind of like you have to place hoppers if you want them to face into each other like that. So we can go like that. And then we have to do that again from this side. And then we can start building another carriage here. I don't have any of the blocks, but that's what I'm going to do, guys. Start building the first passenger carriage. And I think what we'll do is add in... Uh, I'll build one and then I'll pretty much copy it exactly as we go along here and I'll probably put three possibly four if we have room but I'm not too sure we'll have to find out what that's looking like with three carriages all right uh, yeah and I, I, I just want to say I place these down like here I think they have a better chance of transforming if they're not touching another one so that's sort of why they're all uh, disjointed here but I don't know I have no idea how long this is going to take uh, so this is probably a waste of time I'll probably pick these up and take them over there and uh, at the end of this episode, I'm going to AFK for a very long time and see if we can get these turning green. Because honestly, my uh, nothing since the update has come out, none of my things have turned even one shade of green. So yeah, it's a bit ridiculous. Okay, anyway, let's carry on with the train. Okay, the carriage is in, my friends. I've actually clicked record this time. Fantastic. Brain in operation. Okay, right. Red train is coming along. I think we can add in... Um, another two carriages at least, maybe even a third. Um, I'm going to connect them like this again, but I think this this one doesn't have the... Uh, I think we go like this here. This one doesn't have a a path to walk between, but I think on the next one we will, because that, that's just a coal carriage. You never want the uh, the passengers going into the coal carriage, do you? So... I think, oh, I think I'm stuck is what, what I really am down here. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Okay, um, I need to get my, uh, my my iron trapdoors out and stick them along the place as well. They actually add quite a bit under here. That could be cool. But yeah, I think it's coming along nicely, my friends. Um, let's add in another two carriages and see what it's looking like. Well, my friends, the big train is in. If we step back here, it's looking pretty damn cool. Big train. Big steam train. Uh, let's actually take this stuff down. There's actually a few pieces of glass I need to put in here to finish this off. I'm going to come in here and go like that. Actually, it probably should be a door here, but I'm going to leave that like that for now. Uh, let's place that glass in, get rid of this. Everything down there looks pretty finished to me. The one thing I've forgotten is these iron trapdoors. So actually, just let me quickly place these trapdoors in, and then I'll show you guys the finished product. I, I didn't... I definitely thought I was finished, but I'm 
clearly not finished. My inventory. Oh my goodness. I need some space. Give me some space. Okay. Here we go. Now we should be able to get uh, a bunch of these in here. Okay, so now we can place in these final trapdoors, and I need to take this out as well. Yeah, so I've only put trapdoors on one side here, and, and even then I didn't make it all the way. What a muppet. But here we go, should be placing these in here. And as you can see, we got all the little buttons, we got the windows, we've got all these carriages in. I'm going to fly up in the sky real soon so you can see it as a whole, but I just want to get these in real quick. There we go, that's looking nice. Now just quickly on this side. And there we go, that is all in. As you can see, there's little walkways between the carriages. We'll go and look at those in a second. I need to light up the last carriage because I know that I haven't put any torches in there. And as you can see, we have a train and it's looking pretty cool. I really like it. I think the bulked out smoke really helps there. That is looking good. And yeah, definitely looks like a train. I know the wheels are a little bit funny. But there's not really a lot we can do about that. That's just sort of the way it is. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to go and jump in the end here. Let's see if we can fly in here. Oh, that was almost good. I almost did something good. Uh, let's place in a couple more torches here. But as you can see, we walk in between. There's little fences here. This is all connected up nicely. I could have put trapdoors in here instead, and I'm, I might still later on. And uh, yeah, I think definitely we could add some more details to this later. Um, I don't have any time today because I'm actually pre-recording these videos a week ahead of time. I'm trying to get as much as I can done for you guys. Uh, but yeah, we've run out of time today, but I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, please hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the very next episode. So...